Hello and welcome to my quick AI guide on getting started to generate images like these and more. This is the easiest guide to follow on the internet. Uh, this is for people who have a poor PC, people who don't want to pay for generations, people who want more control, people who want to be able to run it offline, etc. So you want to start by going to makeayo.com. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. It is a easy to install regular .exe for Windows. Just download, run it, leave it, and that's it. When you finish that, you will get this screen. These two tabs are self-explanatory, and then you have models and you have extras. Models are the general AI that is trained on a subject, such as anime, realism, or horror, and extras are fine-tuning it, such as uh, a specific character, a specific style, maybe horror with this, and then you would download like an oral oil painting Laura to combo with it so you can get horror oil paintings. I choose two words that are hard for me to pronounce there. I don't know why. If you aren't finding what you like on either of these, there's a website I'd like to share with you called Civitai, where you can search for themes such as anime, and you can find checkpoints that are trained to generate various types of anime, as well as lores that can then fine-tune it, such as line art. Once you've installed one of these, from there it's pretty easy. It'll be in your Downloads folder. You can <coughs> just right-click Makeo, open File Location, follow this pathing here, Cache Stable Diffusion Web UI Master, go to models. Laura is where you'll drag and drop your Loras. And stable diffusion is where you'll drag and drop the bigger checkpoints. So let's take a look at what it all looks like. So your model is here, which is like this one here is trained to make anything. This one more focuses on realistic portraits of people. And then I have my Laura, the example one I downloaded, which is just more details, which would add little things like flower petals, maybe skin details, sun rays, etc. And there's a million lores of different types. There's ones that are trained for clothing, characters, celebrities, animals, concepts such as something being scary or feeling like it has some oomph to it in terms of scale, like a giant mechanized monster. Uh, and then from there, you're set to go. You just type what you want to see and out comes what you typed. If you are having troubles, uh, it shouldn't require a very strong PC. I am running mine on medium performance with quite a potato, and I still generate images very fast. On average, they take about 30 to 40 seconds, even to get crisp results such as this. And as you can see, my computer specs aren't very good. Uh, that's going to be all for the guide. If you would like more specifics uh, in terms of prompting, lower weights, what checkpoints to use, uh, embeddings, inversions, anything of the sort, feel free to let me know in the comments.